a delay of four weeks from diagnosis to treatment, you know, that's four weeks of the patient and their family having to deal with this burden that they could have something like a lung malignancy. And if we can go and if we can shorten that period of time between diagnosis and treatment, that will certainly help the patients decrease their anxiety and improve their outcomes. You know, there's an environment here that values innovation, that values collaborative groups working together, leveraging each person's individual expertise. And I think the RODAT procedure is a good example of that kind of innovation. RODAT stands for Robotic One Anesthetic Diagnosis and Treatment. The idea here is that patients who have concerning lung nodules in one trip to the hospital they can both be diagnosed and potentially treated for their lung cancer. A team has been assembled with uh, Dr. Maxfield and Dr. Lowe and Dr. Sood, and I'm Dr. Fisher in pathology. We're able to evaluate that nodule right away. Before we start a procedure, the system gives us a GPS view, how we can take each correct turn to get to the spot. We make sure we're at the spot and then take those tiny biopsies. The whole biopsy portion of the procedure takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Once we take a sample from the lesion, Dr. Fisher takes it. So Dr. Sood would provide me with a small biopsy sample. We're right here in the operating room when we look at the slide. If it is cancer, we're able to tell that right away. As Dr. Sood and Dr. Fisher make the diagnosis, then you know our team will come in. And at that point, there's a lot going on. It's a ballet of sorts. Robotic surgery is a really a phenomenal achievement in terms of modern day technology. The robot arms are controlled on this console by the surgeon. By doing this, you can go and, and dissect it in kind of relatively fine areas and grasp small amounts of tissue. Using the dissection tools and the camera and the stapler, we remove the parts of lung that contain cancer. So they, could, they come in for the surgery at 7.30, they're out by 12 or 1 o'clock. This is an, an effort that really started from the ground up, sort of from the trenches. There was a need for this. We understand that, you know, the earlier we detect lung cancers, the better the outcomes would be. 